Hi. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, creating a helical gear with the help of Autodesk Power Shape. So this is my example here. So I'm going to start to create with similar like this particular model. So just close. To start with, I'm going to create a work plane here at my zero zero and uh, creating a solid cylinder. Change your uh, diameter. The next thing, just create a helix from the wireframe toolbar the height is stop it as 90 and my pitch is 150 of my diameter then my radius is again 30 which is lying over the cylinder okay so just finish it off and take your left hand side view switch off your setting and just draw a circle with a radius of 23 and draw another circle just to cut clear over the circumference and just giving an extra diameter there edit it just cut it off the extra lines so here is my the undercut tooth profile so I just press alt key and select the wireframe to make it as a continuous one now I have two curves two section one is one is section curve and my another one is drive curve so under your solid you have an option called drive curve select the section first and select your drive curve just preview it if you are satisfied with that the moment just say ok but now from this uh, main solid I'm going to remove this tooth profile just say subtract from solid just you can get it like in this format just remove all your wireframes here select quit select all wireframes delete it now select your explorer bar here by using your and select this feature Go to your edit function and say this is my sub item and rotate my feature around the circumference of the cylinder just copy it as 3 make it as 90 degree okay fine and just say tick now you can get this gear profile and you finally you can add up your radius fillet radius here So 
by mm and just see apply thank you